we weirdly, like I grew up when I was real young, my dad had like a hundred million dollars. He was huge wait, on Wall Street. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. When you were young, your dad had a hundred million dollars. I was like three, my dad was worth like a hundred million dollars. Is this before the big crash? Yeah, yeah. It, 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 so he, 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 I think he's still like one of the top five um, biggest, uh, largest IPO openings on Wall Street ever. Um, he, he was like in the dot com boom. Like his, it was a company called Log on America. Holy shit. By the time I was six, he was worth absolutely nothing. So, nothing. Not when you dime, say nothing, not a dime. How do you lose everything? I, I'm not 100% sure. Like, because it's still, I, I've never really had, you know, that in depth conversation about it. From what my understanding is, the company's stock was going down. He was 28, 30, or something like that. Jeez. So he's that young. The company stock was going down. And I think he was using his own money to buy more stock in the company to keep it up, which right. is legal, but it's not smart because you're buying your own business that's tanking. Right, right. So, yeah. So I never, we had like a, a, you know, we had things like we lived in this big house. But by the time I was six, the lights were getting shut off. There was no car, like the cars were getting repossessed. Like I, we were dead broke. We couldn't even eat dinner. So, what, how old are you? I was so six to 12, we were pretty destitute. Really? Yeah. And then when I was 14 to 18 in high school, he had money again. He's like an entrepreneur. So he'll have a business and it'll be going well. well and he, then, he became a millionaire again? Not a millionaire, but, but we he were comfortable. comfortable. Where, where I was like, you know, we had vehicles like, right. like he was able to get me a car like stuff like that so i'm super grateful by the way i uh from the way i grew up because i experienced absolute poverty and i experienced you know uh you know going so out you're to humble you were humbled uh, as were your parents and I'm so 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 grateful that that's what happened because if my dad had a hundred million dollars when i was in high school i, I wouldn't be you'd be right a wreck i'd be a fucking nightmare. were you a nightmare in high school were you kind of like a partier or party animal mm -mm. so i you played hockey Yes. Yeah. So, so basically what happened was when I was 12 was my 12 and 13 were my rebellious years. I got cut from this hockey team because, so I was, I went to Long Island to play. I would drive up every week and I play for this team called the Long Island Gulls. We were like third ranked in the entire world. Are you serious? Yeah. And you were that good. Dude, my, so my summer team when I was 12 was Connor McDavid, Daniel Sprong, um, you know, what? Jack Eichel. You played with these guys? Yeah. Oh, insane like samuel blair like i were go, you one of the good players yeah too? i was top four top four defenseman on this team um i literally i think i played with almost one person on every nhl team right now um what yeah so that was that was anybody like, in the rangers hey guys i'm tom welling i used to play clark kent on smallville i'm michael rosenbaum i used to play lex luther on smallville join us every week as we go back way back i'm excited i know are you? Can't wait. Join Tom Welling and Michael Rosenbaum every week as they rewind every episode of Smallville and discuss their experiences with friends, fans, and co-stars. Talkville, the ultimate Smallville podcast.